Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in with this week's Empire, My Fate Cries Out. Let me tell you, my emotions are all over the place. And then I really don't know what to think, but we're going to get into all of it. Well, yeah. not all of it. We're not going to cover a whole lot of stuff. But first and foremost, we learned that the reason that Terry has not told, um, I could say Jamal Lord, um, Andre about being pregnant was because she wasn't sure yeah. that she would be able to carry this baby full term. So in my mind, I thought last week that her and Andre had, had a talk about his heart and whatnot. Yeah. And but that's the reason that she didn't want to tell him because she knew the information, but really she does not know the information. Yeah. The only person that knows is daddy Lulu, right? So, hmm. Lulu and Andre are over at the house, and they're having a conversation, and, you know, and uh, Lulu's whole thing is, listen, I can call the best cardiologist. Matter of fact, I have. I can see if I can get you a bionic heart. I can see if I can get you mush pushed up on that list. I got to do whatever I can do to keep, keep you, you alive. alive. Now, Andre was like, listen, Pops, even if you got a donor, even if you got the bionic heart, the chemo medicine does not make it puts me at the bottom of the list yep. for to be able to you know to get a transplant. And Louis was like, I don't want to hear none of this. Andre's whole thing was like, Buck, what you heard? I said what I said, and pops, what I need you to do is support me in this because as strong as I am, I can't do this alone. So I said, Hold yeah, on, I'm hold sorry. on, Andre. Whoa. Sure, what you trying to tell me is that you want pops to help you. Giza, take yourself out. And Lucius was like, nah, bro. This ain't what it's going to be. Nah. And he told him, say, you know what? Listen, I, I got to go. Don't you do skit. Don't do nothing. Because Andre was like, it's going to happen. And it's going to happen tonight. I'm like, that's, whoa. That's like your best friend coming to you and be like, I got a problem. I'm dying. And I want to speed the process up. And we need it to happen today. But I need you to help me. Same day delivery. I am Amazon not Prime. FedEx and, or Amazon. We not doing this same day. You wouldn't give me a chance to even think about it. Nope. Is that considered murder, though? If I let you kill yourself and I sit there and I be there to so quote-unquote support, is that murder? It gets a little fine line, but technically, yes. Or is it sui murder? Suicide plus murder. <coughs> I don't know. It's accessory. I don't know. I don't know. But Lulu was like, you know, it don't do nothing. And he left up out of there. And I said, did you just hear the same conversation that I heard? Yeah. Because that's not a person that I would leave alone right now. Yeah. So he left Andre and alone. And do a darn thing until you tell me. Andre went into his bag and he pulls out, I call it the last will and testaments. Mm -hmm. And he put them all out and he left them for everybody. Had everybody's name on it. I didn't remember seeing Hakeem and Stanley say he didn't either. I didn't rewind it back. He could have. But I was like, a little strange, but whatever. But anyway. So, um... Later on, we see that Lulu, right, he's all distracted. He's, you know, recounting everything that was going on, you know, from Andre being a baby, being sick with the whooping cough, um, him helping him out when the feds came to the house and hiding his gun. Like, he's really going down memory lane, but the only problem is, is he's driving. Yeah. So he's driving, but he's not driving. Mm. And all of a sudden, we see that he's coming head on to another vehicle. He ended up having to swerve, 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 and went head on and hit into a guardrail. Okay. Poom, poom. Hit his head on the stern wheel. He got blood, whatever. Next thing we know <laughs> is that Lulu was walking through the front door of the house. And I said, so we just going to not gonna go, go to, to the, the hospital? hospital? But it didn't surprise me because that's... that's Lucius. And then I said, well, they just getting back on their feet. So he had no insurance. He wants, you know, he didn't want, <laughs> want to create another hospital bill. You know how that go. And he want to go to county. So we just go home, so wash the blood off and sleep it off like you did yeah. back in the day. So when he does that, all of a sudden, Bonky show up. What's up? Shit. Hold on. I said, oh, he has a concussion. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I got it. But here's the thing. Bunky comes back talking cash money skit. Was like, listen, you did a whole lot in your life. Andre ain't never did nothing to nobody. Nope. He been loyal. He don't help you out. Don't always had your back. And I love them kids like I love my own. Why don't you grant him the one thing that that boy wants? Yep. He wants to go. Why you as his father won't step up 
and actually be a father and help him do what he needs to do. Because you a killer. That's he, who you are. He said, you killed me a cold blood, didn't think twice about it. I said, but I'm like, this is different, though. I said, it's, di <laughs> it's different than killing. I mean, it's, it's kind of close, but not close. Killing your child or killing your best friend. Uh -huh. that's, that's a little bit different. Don't Two wrongs don't make a right. But killing Andre is more wrong than killing you. So, I was like, okay, this is getting really weird. Weird. So, some time it went on, and I'm not doing this in order. Lulu was like, you know what? He had enough sense to know that something ain't right right yeah, now. Yeah. Something going on. Just ain't clicking. So, he ended up going to the hospital. Because we don't know what's real right now. <laughs> End up going to the hospital. They were like, you know, the doctor would be in to see you shortly. Sean pops up. Sean sitting in the seat. He talking cash money skit. Was like, basically like, okay, what you gonna do about this Andre situation? I don't watch it all go down. The boy asked you to help him out in this one solid. You ain't gonna be able to do it. But you know what? You can't do it because you a bitch. Yeah. Say, you couldn't even take me out. You had to pass it on to okay. another person yeah. so that they could actually do it. You ain't really no killer. You just a bit. I was it's sitting there like, 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 what the hell? So now we got the we got the, the dead people <laughs> on the side of Andre trying to... <laughs> what you know remind me of? Scrooge? Who? Scrooge. What y'all mean? The ghost of Christmas past or, oh. or the ghost of Lucius past coming back to tell him the truth so he can make it right. So we see Lucius. Lucius was like, you know what? Let me grab at him and see what the fuck going on and whatnot. So he not real, man. He ain't real. Okay. Then the third encounter. Because obviously, he don't see the doctor by now. And he got a little butterfly right there. He gets back to the house. No, I think he was at Empire. Yeah. And he's at Empire. He hears all this music. And he's going into one of the studios. And he see this guy just like getting it in, just Michael Jackson dancing mm -hmm. on the floor. Yeah. And I mean, just and it was his dead daddy. He said, "You, you remember this song? You remember the steps? Mm -hmm. You remember on. the steps, huh? Come on, mom. You know I do it. You know what? Do it, do it, do it. Cause I'm like, like what? And the part that made it worse is he went in there and start dancing. Spin it around in a circle. So I was like, I know somebody is going to walk in here and see him in here dancing, it by himself. spinning and dancing and talking to himself. Security didn't see none of this? No. Nah. Because it may not even be real. We don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> so the daddy started talking cash money. He was like, you know what? I wonder about you. I, I check in on you every now and then. <laughs> but that boy, oh, you did that. You got that yeah. one right. And he was like, why don't you give him what he wants in a time where he knows he's going to suffer? He said, Dude, don't you remember what happened to me? And Lulu was like, yeah, I was right there. I watched it go down. He was like, it wasn't that bad. It was quick. He said, but imagine if it had been one of those things where I was suffering in pain yeah. and my son could sit there and he could help me in this pain that I'm going through. But Tell as me. a child... He wasn't able to do it. And would you help me if I was suffering? I was like, what kind of question? He's kind of not question getting you a band-aid out the cabinet now. Yeah, yeah, that's, it, you know. We're yeah. talking about that great getting up morning. We're I can't kidding. imagine my parents asking me if I would kill them while they suffering. To just make when it what? When what? I said, wait a minute. It's just too much going on. No. Up and through. No. Here. So, earlier in the episode... The, the way that Terry was able to go to the hospital and to able to confirm that she was able to carry this baby full term was she had to lie to Andre and tell Andre that she was working a shift at, at the hospital. Yeah. Cookie stepped in because, you know, Cookie knows about Terry being pregnant. And Cookie steps in and was like, Andre, I'll go with you because he wanted to take Terry skating. Yeah. So that was Terry's out and her way of getting away from Andre in enough time that she could get done what she needed to get done and confirms that, yes, she is pregnant. And matter of fact, she's having a boy. And I'm like, God darn, how many months is she? Yeah. God darn. <laughs> so she's having a, a little boy. And, of course, she tells Cookie, 
Don't tell Andre right now. He got a lot on him right now. Cookie's whole thing is, this is going to help him. This is going to help him fight the rest of this battle. Well, Andre and Cookie are over there at the skate rink. And it seems like Andre has already stopped taking his psych meds. Yeah, because he just... Because he, he is... He in his own world. He out there. There's nobody else out there skating but him. <laughs> He's skating. Every now and then, he talking cash money skit to Cookie and reminding her that <laughs> you left me. We was chair. locked up. So you did you your thing. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Cookie was like, uh, you okay, Andre? Uh, you are. Right? You, you look, come on out here and get some water. <laughs> and he was like, no, mama, I, you know, I forgave you for everything that you did and not being there a long time ago. We good. I love mm -hmm. you. Da. And she still kind of giving him the side of like, boy, is you good? Yeah, what's up? What's up? She ain't thinking like suicide good, but medicine be like do you yeah. need to be calibrated again Cal yeah i know we passed the cancer but something else is going something on with, is with your mind so i'm sitting here like yes yes it's a lot going on so over there at empire they're over there um becky and giselle is over there talking to patel and come to find out the feds don't freaking locked up the money and everybody's paychecks are just bouncing Bounce, bounce, bounce. This this chick is just this chick gosh gosh to go, man. I'm about sick of her. Yeah. Sick of her. I'm like, Thursday got them past the tour or get the tour back on track. How is it that you can just come in and freeze a whole business's accounts without any proof of anything? I was like, like somebody said, what is her hard on for them? Yeah. And then they were like, is she white? Tracy's sister or something. I don't know. Like it just seems so personal. Yeah. So some, some, I was like, what happened to the Patriots at? Now, if we have a bank, we have we have a joint account. And if I go to the bank to try to pull some money out or close the account, I have to have her permission, along with my permission to have that. But the feds just come in and just freeze my skit like it ain't nothing. So the Patriot don't even matter. It's bull skit. You ain't on the right color, child. <laughs> but anywho, so while the money is over, while they're over there discussing, well, they're not even discussing it. They're just trying to figure out what the heck just happened. Yeah. The fans are over there at Cookie's house. Picks her up. And now they talking. She talking cash money to get the Cookie. And basically trying to make Cookie turn over on the dime. She got pictures of her and Damon Cross when they went to Panama. Threatening to show him the Lucius, this, that, and the third. And I actually thought that Cookie was going to roll over on David nah, Cross for a I minute. Nah, I could. Because pictures really don't. That, those pictures really don't prove nothing. They sitting at a dinner table. That could be any kind of story that they you want to spend. just told him a joke. Yeah. You could spend it everywhere. We were sitting at the table talking about we going to the bank tomorrow to make these transfers. Uh-huh. Toast up. Yeah. So, Cookie was like, you know what? Did, did my husband turn you out years ago? <laughs> Drop you like a bad habit? I mean, what is this? And she was like, no. And then when she said, oh, what did she say? Angry black woman syndrome. Mm -hmm. I said, her and these racist slurs going to have to go. Yeah, first the melanin in the White House, now this booze get. Okay. Huh? Don't come up stinking now. Mm hmm So basically, Cookie told her off and said, fuck you. You have nothing on me. You sitting up here wasting taxpayers', taxpayers dollars over here. Basically, chasing your own tail in the circles. Go find somebody that's really doing something and leave us to buckle up. Yeah, I, I appreciate Lee Daniels putting that in there because that is so true yep. about our freaking judicial system. They spend a whole bunch of money on bull skit. And we got people over here starving, homeless, people trying to go to school, people trying to better their life. What about the vets that they swear they yeah, care about the, so much? Yeah, the vets that's over here that's going through PS, uh, what is it? P PTSD. PTSD. Homeless. They not getting no help. Or if they over in the war fighting for the country for, for I don't know what. And their family's back at home suffering and y'all not taking care of them. But you want a freaking wall. Uh, oh, don't even talk about it. Yeah. That. I saw something today on Facebook that says, if you want to build a wall, don't y'all celebrate Cinco de Mayo. No tacos and margarita for now. One of y'all Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> celebrating Cinco de Mayo. No, you're not. Like, yeah, huh? I'm Mexican this weekend, man. You might can do some handiwork, but you're not Mexican. I'm Mexican this weekend, man. No, you're not. Yes, I am. 
from Friday through Sunday. Well, at least Friday through Saturday. Well, I'm going to call ice. I got, I got to bring it back in on on Sunday, man, because I got to go to work on Friday. I'm going to call ice on your house, boy. You ain't got no documents, nigga. See, we got, uh, we got our boy Jorge right here. We know on yes, Friday, we know. on Friday, the music is going to be cranking from Friday night, Friday evening to Sunday, to Sunday night. They're going to be cranking. And it's the same beat. I don't know what that song is, but all we hear is boom, 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 boom. It's gonna start right after work on Friday. And when you drive by, they be like, be like, bye. So. Cookie ends up leaving up out of there and told her, you know, basically, basically buck you. And she ends up going to see Damon Cross. I said, listen, Cookie. What we ain't going to do is keep on seeing him when you told him it's over. And he sitting up there with them hands talking about something. Listen, Cookie. Yeah, you did. Yeah. What we had was special. You need you need a real grown man in your life, you know. He said, yeah, you keep yeah. saying you love your husband, but that was yeah. 16 years ago. Yeah. Everything that you've done from that point on is because yeah. you loved him. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, you know what? I'm going to do you this solid because you were there for me when I needed you the most when my son was fighting for his life. So this is what I'm going to do for you to repay you for being there for me. The feds are after you, boy. He already knew that. You ain't pay him nothing. I wouldn't already, be surprised if he ain't sent the feds. He already knew it because you mama, he, when yeah. Thirsty was there talking to the lady, she was, he was in the car waiting for come back to find yeah. out what he was talking about. So I'm like, you ain't do nothing cookie, you know. Maybe you thought you did something, but you, you didn't do nothing for that one right there. Yeah. So later on in the episode, right, because the funds are um, frozen, Becky and Giselle is still trying to find, figure out, okay, how can we fund Empire to keep moving forward and this tour? They ended up calling um, Andre and, and you know, basically like, Andre, you need to come fix this. Yeah, and we, since you've been on your sick bed, skit just been not been Yeah, the right. CFO duties is having been happening around here like they're supposed to be. So Andre ends up coming over there and Becky was like, you know what? If we can get some funding, we can have a concert. They were like, no, that's going to conflict with the tour. She was like, no, 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 a paid concert where we will have some features and we'll do it like a duet type of thing. We'll charge money and then that will be able to fund everything. And then we'll have a little bit of money and then we can get our skit together, right? Yeah. So they were like, yeah, sounds really good, but how are we going to get this money? Mm. And then here goes Andre's thing. If you could get me back in the face of Patel, you know, I could basically talk the draws off of anybody. So... He ain't nothing. I, I, I can get this money. They were like, nope. Patel is over there. The YPO something, something, something. And he's not avail um, available at the moment. Well, the next thing we know, we see Kingsley. Andre had called Kingsley and told Kingsley, listen, bruh. As your younger brother, I need you to do me a solid. I need you to get me in there so I can talk. He was like, ho, ho, ho. Them people hate me. They already think that I'm, I'm the scum of empire that got thrown out the back door. <laughs> and um, Andre was like, listen, I really need you to do this for me. As a brother, I need you to do this for me. Well, Kingsley was pretty much like, I got one better. How much do you need? And Andre was like, what? He's like, no, I just need you to get me in front of these people. That's all I need you to do. I'll take it from there. He was like, how much do you need? Show him the phone. I'm a milli, a milli, a milli, yeah. I'm a milli. I said, he got 10 cents a million. I said. I think it was 10, I don't know. What I think it was 10 million. million. I think it was 10 million dollars. I said, oh, okay. I said, right, so man. Andre was like, okay. Then Kingsley was like, um, is this what you wanted me to do the whole time? He said, no, I wanted a big brother. I'm looking for a brother. And you, that's what you did. And they shook on it. And homeboy walked. Oh, but I said, feel them though, cause some people will bring you in their life just, 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 just to try to, you yeah, to try to get something out of you. And Kingsley was like, after everything that I've done to Empire, I think I can do this a little bit right here. Yeah. I said, okay. So now that they got the money, they can go ahead and have this concert, right? So the concert went off without a hitch. It was really, really good. Um, and mind you, Lucius and Cookie didn't know any of this was going nope. on. Nope. Because he was behind his wheel knocked out and I don't know if he really went to the hospital or not. I don't know if any of that was real. Yeah, because we seen him come back like it was an illusion, like he was asleep, but I, yeah. 
And then Cookie was in there with the feds. So when they both meet up at Empire, they're like, what the hell is going on in here? And I don't even know if they were Empire. I think they were somewhere else. But when yeah, they met up, some, some venue. it yeah. was going down. And they were impressed. They were like, my boys got together. together and they pulled and this they, off? They pulled this off. And then here come Patel. Patel comes over there. He's trying to get in Giselle's draw. talking about some, you know, we need to meet up later on. We can eat. We can go back. Get to some my cone, yes. And um, she was like, hold on. She said, you know what? I will no longer get under a man to see if he can put me on top where I'm already at. No, no, no. I said, been, been there. there and done that. You just got to dance with it. Yeah. Um, we got to tell I him said, about that one. Thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how that one went. And I said, "Good for you, Giselle. You yeah, got my favorite time, person in the time. world." Yeah. But she has proven herself. I don't trust her, but she proven herself. But I'm still now. watching though, cause she on, she kind of on the top right now. So you know, uh -huh. you you can speak big pimping. You know, when when everything going good, I want to see when the skit falls through the hole again. Would you sleep with Patel to come back on top? Yeah. So that's when I want to see you say that skit. Mm. Hey. So after the concert, right, everybody's in the back. You know, they're probably pretty much having their little victory speech. And, you know, they all hype. And everybody's getting ready to go their separate ways. Hakeem said he got to go pick up his kids. Um, Terry comes back through and she tells um, Andre, I will see you tomorrow. And he's looking at her, You're giving like, her that final like, goodbye yeah, look. Okay. Like, I'm like, dang. you didn't catch that, Terry? And she went on about her business. And Andre is back there. And he's telling everybody, you know what? Sit down, sit down. I love you, and da 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 da, and I'm so proud of you, and da. And Cook is like Andre, what's going on? Okay. Like, yeah, we, yeah, we know, we good, we love you. And the whole time, Lucius is looking at him like, say what you gotta say, do what you gotta do, whatever your decision is. I got you. I, got I said, oh, 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 Lulu. So this little, this little dream or illusion that, you, in, that you have gonna really convince you to support him. And killing itself, like how is you gonna explain that to Cookie? That's okay. the whole. That's the whole time I thought I was like, how is you gonna explain that to Cookie that you was there when he took the pills or whatever he was gonna decide to do? Yeah, cause at this point we didn't, we didn't know. know. Cause I mean the way that all the ghosts from Lucius past were talking, like you needed to physically yeah. take him out, yeah. you needed like, to gun shoot him, put a bullet in his head, yeah, and, I was and like, quickly. Okay, what the hell? So then, evidently, Lucius and Cookie went their separate ways when they left the venue. Cookie ends up going to the house, and she's looking for Lucius and Andre. But Andre and Lucius are over there, I think, at Andre's place having dinner, chatting it up. Having his favorite meal. <laughs> having, yeah, like he's about to get executed. Like, like a like, like commercial, like before you ready to die, what you want on your tombstone? Yeah. Like, what? Throw to your cheese. I was like... I, I can't take this right And I was now. like, he is real calm. And happy and I mean, having a conversation. Because early episode, he crying. He couldn't get himself together. Don't you do skit until you let me know first. Now we sitting here calm as if we're going to have this dinner and we're going to go and chill like the boys and go to the club. And then and you go night, drink. night, not go I'm home. Not, yeah, we see each other tomorrow. Well, no, not you. Oh, uh, yeah. And I'm like, wow. So then Lucia said, you know what? Who's going to have my back now? Who's going to be my best friend now? And Andre was like, you know, Pop, you know, you know how Andre do. But he looks so peaceful about it. Yeah. Like the decision I, has been made. I, I'm going to go on a limb and say, I think he's still in the truck. I hope so. Because we see him wake up with all the blood. Then we see him wake up again, no blood. And then he end up over at the freaking venue. So we really don't know. What we looking at? Just like the whole last season, freaking Andre went through a whole freaking season just about what a girlfriend that did not exist had. All of us food. So maybe we might be still there. We could be. Oh, maybe we might go back to the season for that. Maybe Lucia's still seeing colors and he in some kind of concussion or something. And I don't know. No, it's a head on conclusion. Head on conclusion, yeah. Like his great daddy used to say. So I'm thinking that all this is an illusion. Because ain't no way... Ain't like like you said last week, it ain't no way. Lee Daniels, you cannot let Andre go out. It is too easy, too predictable. Yeah. So it happened this way. Nah. So because Cookie can't find Lucius and Andre. Well, no, she actually was just looking for Lucius. 
she's running through the house and she goes up there to Lucia's office and she finds the brown look and she was like, we're going to celebrate tonight. Yeah. So she done poured her up a glass and she goes over there to his desk and she starts seeing the last rules and testaments, right? And she starts reading and she's smiling and Andre is basically like, you know, da 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 and I love you and da da and the past is the past and da da and then he gets on about his heart and mm -hmm. this, that, and the third. And she put that glass down and next thing we know, she was hollering for Lucius and she was calling him on the telephone. And she was like, Lucius, Lucius, of course, Lucius isn't there. Lucius is over there with Andre getting ready to support all of this. So we think, I don't know. Yeah. And Lucius and Andre moves to the bedroom where Andre has all of his pills lined up. Gave him a glass ready of wine. To go. Gave him a glass of wine. They toasted it up. And he was like, Andre, you really don't have to do this. Andre is looking at him like it has been. It, it's it, already like, done. Like Jesus, it, it is it's, finished. Yeah. Um. And yeah, he proceeds to get ready to start taking a handful of his pills. And all of a sudden, all you hear is, Andre! And she comes around that corner. See, that's part of the previews that we've been seeing, right? Yeah. And she comes around the corner, and, and she, smack, bam! Smack the pills out of his hand. And then she goes after Lucius. You're going to watch my Fine. son kill, kill himself. That's my son. That's, that's my, my friend. I carry him. For nine months. No. This is not. And Terry is pregnant. So Andre is over there. Huh? So now his heart really going through something for real. Yeah, because he, he, yeah, he all messed he's up. He's prepared now. to leave up out of here. And now he yeah, hears that he yeah. is going to be a father. And hmm. Lucius is trying to explain a whole lot of skit to Cookie that she's not trying to hear right yeah, now. Like, uh, I kind of was manipulated into this. I, I, she was like, boo, skit. Yeah. yeah, this will forever change their relationship. For real, for real. Oh, yeah. He done done a whole lot of stuff. But one thing, Cookie don't play with them it's kids. It's the boys. Yeah, yeah. You know, mama's and, and the boys. Um, so. Yeah, mama's and the boys. Yeah, so. Hmm. And we look, Andre collapses on the floor. And really, it took Cookie a minute to realize what was happening behind her. Because she's too busy trying to fight what's in front of her. And Lulu was like, Cookie, your son, Andre is on the floor. <laughs> And then it went off from there. I don't know. I don't know if any of this is real. I don't know. So I, 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 I it just can't be Andre. I, I just yeah. think that it's, it's too predictable. It's too predictable. Yeah. But I will say, Lee Danes, I talked mad cash money scared about you last week. I take some of it back because <laughs> you wrote this one. Yeah. Anytime I'm sitting here and I'm still trying to figure this thing out, yeah, that's the kind of writing that I like. I like to be but, able to think about but stuff. But you remember I told y'all, see, we don't have that hate for Kingsley like we had. And tonight's uh, freaking really solidified that when he gave them the money to put on that show. It's like, wait a minute. Maybe Kingsley is a cool cat. I don't like the khaki kid. Yeah, I, I mean, we, we, don't, we don't fully like him yet. But you gotta admit that when he did that, that did touch your heart just a just a little bit like that. He helped him. No, I ain't built like that. Yeah, it did for me. I was like, you know what? It came through. Oh yeah, don't get y'all feelings. God said khaki kids. That's something that my my sister -in <laughs> and my brother made up for my god doing nieces and nephews because they biracial. Yeah. So they call their kids the khaki kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and when you look at a pair of khaki. Color pants, that's exactly what their skin tone is. So yeah, he got he he got yeah, he got me tonight, you know, cause he he been trying to make it right. When you when you put your money up, man, that speak volumes because people don't won't, won't put their money up. They're the, talking a whole lot of bullshit, but they won't put their money up. That's not true. Because if I'm going down Broad Street and I'm at a light and I see somebody that's homeless and let's just say I got a hundred dollars in ones in my car and they just shaking a can. And I, I just give him one dollar because one dollar's not gonna hurt me. Kingsley probably gave him a million because he had nine more. No, nah. it didn't hurt. No, nah, that's a whole different situation right there <laughs> between homeless or somebody that tried to destroy your life. But Kingsley got guilt <clears throat> because he tried to destroy their life first. Yeah. So. And now he realized his mom ain't nothing but a manipulative crackhead. Yeah, he trying to make it right. Well, maybe he the one get ready to die because people that that's, that's so, get ready so to do that. So, so technically trying to say it wasn't his fault that he's a terror because his mama did it to him. 
I agree. <laughs> I, I do agree. Yeah, his mom was a, was the sure. catalyst for all the stuff that he did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think I think he's gonna be a a major role in this week. Kings is gonna be. I don't. Know I see. I don't. Is. I don't know if he's gonna die. I don't know. I wouldn't care. I don't. I don't know who in the casket. Man. I don't even. They raised up the casket a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they raised it. And up. It I was like trying to look. Skin, I said. Yeah. But I ain't. I ain't even gonna wind it back because it probably is a goddamn doll baby in there, yeah. and they mess it. Cause yeah. But anyway, y'all, y'all, let me know. What One, y'all think about it? Do you think that any of this that happened after the head-on co- collision is any of this real? Mm-hmm. Or is he still behind that wheel? And all I don't know. All y'all just let head. me know what y'all think. And I'm about to go to bed straight from the bed. The dirty, dirty sow. Two up, two down. Holla!